wearing a guacamole right now. Because my son says my hair gets in everything. So, let's pull my hair up. Hey. Okay. Don't wake me up. I'm dreaming. Good morning, everyone. We are going to make some guacamole. Um, I am obsessed with guacamole, and I have been making it every day almost of the, um, this week. <laughs> so much that my son even said, Mom, why are you making guacamole so much? And I said, because I'm obsessed with guacamoles because I love guacamole. That's why. So, we are gonna make some guacamole right now. Because me and my husband love it. Oh my God, did I just... Oh, don't eat those, those onions, Paco. No, Paco, you don't want that. It's just an onion. So I'm cutting up some purple onion um, into small little pieces, small pieces that I can get it in. Okay, because nobody wants big ass chunks of onion in their family. Okay, okay. 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 Good morning. Come make guac with me. So what's everybody up to? What? Okay, so we're gonna start our day off right. What are three things that you guys are grateful for today? If you're in recovery, let me know how long you've been sober. Um, my sobriety date is July 13th of 2015. I got sober after I lost custody of my child. It really, when I lost custody of my son, it, it lit a fire underneath this ass of mine. And I fucking started working my ass off. Oh, there's my boyfriend, Tommy. Hey, honey. That's my husband. My, my social media husband. Hey, honey. Um, we're making fresh guacamole, Tommy. So, you know. Let's get all these. These are all the onions. I, I chopped up about a half of a purple onion. Because I have a lot of guacamole. I have a lot of um, guacs. I have seven guacs. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Rita. Good job. That's a lot of years too, baby. We're both hitting the hitting the mirrors, aren't we? I remember a time, you guys, when I didn't even think I would make it to one year. I was so um, discouraged and depressed. I was hopeless. I was hopeless. And... Um, I didn't think I would ever be able to stay sober, you know, because I had tried it so many times in the past, and I had failed miserably. Um, it wasn't until my son got taken away from me, and my back was up against the wall, that I tried a different way, and that way was getting on buprenorphine, suboxone. Um, all the years that I had been trying to get sober, you guys, I had tried to get sober, um, through abstinence and I would fail miserably every time. I would get to about six to nine months sober and then I would fall off every time and I couldn't figure out why, what was wrong with me, right? Um, I took antidepressants for seven years and I'm off of all of them now and have been off of them for 90 days. Um, but I had taken them for seven years. So for all those years I thought you know, there was something wrong with me. No, there was nothing wrong with me, guys. What was wrong was I wasn't doing a program that would work for me. Okay? Um, I needed to try something different. And so what I finally did was I finally tried a different route and didn't do AA or NA. And it saved my fucking life, finally. Can you believe that? All those years of trying to do AA and NA and failing miserably... And all it took was me doing some medication-assisted treatment along with 
some therapy. Therapy and uh, therapy and AA and meds, and that's how I got sober. <laughs> how? Who would have thunk it? You know, all those years I had been trying. I'm not going to use those onions to um, get sober and stick myself in this box, and I wasn't fitting in the box, y'all. And so let's get us a good tomato. Fitting in the box, and I could not do it. Yes, I have been on Suboxone for eight years, and um, I actually started out on 12 milligrams of Suboxone, okay, um, which is like a normal dose for somebody that struggles with opiate addiction, and um, I was on 12 milligrams for about four years, all right, and at the four-year mark, I said, you know what, I'm ready to taper, so... I tapered down to a quarter of one milligram, okay? It took me about two years to taper that load, okay? Two years to taper, but once I got down to that taper and I, I got down to that low amount, I felt so much better um, because for me, after being on subs for so long, they stopped working for me. They started to make me feel tired all the time and lethargic and sweaty and it just was not conducive anymore. So, tapering really helped me, and now I feel better than I've ever felt. And I'm on about a half a milligram now, and I feel better. Like I said, I feel better than I've ever felt. This knife is so fucking dull, it's pissing me off. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> the knife I was using was so dull that I was about to get pissed. So, um, tapering really brought the life back to me. Okay? Thank you. This shirt says, I believe in holding grudges. I'll heal in hell. And this shirt is by Untamed Ego. If y'all want, I have a coupon code I'm getting with them for uh, money off of your purchase. So if you guys like this shirt, I will link it in my bio so y'all can get a discount on it. But I have another one of their shirts. It says, um, it says, surviving purely out of spite. And it's a casket with a, a skeleton coming out of it. And then I have another one of their shirts that says, um, um, crap, what does it say? I can't remember, but it's hilarious. Um, and it's just shit talking, you know, I love it. So, yeah. Hey, what's up? No, not yet. I didn't, um, I didn't order it on the day that we went live. I ordered it a couple days after that. So we're, I'm actually making a separate channel to do a booktube. Y'all know that? A YouTube um, booktube. So um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reading people's memoirs, addiction recovery memoirs, on this other channel. The other channel is called Nicole Recovers. And so, but yeah, I actually messaged Untamed Ego, you guys, yesterday. And they emailed me back and said, we'll give you a coupon code. So if y'all like these shirts... Um, I'll have a coupon code for y'all. I'll have to check my email and see if they sent me the code yet. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Sur I'll heal in hell, bitches. <laughs> it's perfect for my personality, if you want to know the truth. We're making guacamole, everybody. So I just cut up some onions, a whole tomato, half a purple onion, a whole tomato, and um, this is all, let me show you what we have so far. So, so far we have onion and tomato. So I don't like to put um, jalapenos in my guacamole. So we're not gonna put jalapenos in it. We're just gonna put guac and um, tomatoes and onions, okay? But I'm gonna season it. And that's what makes it taste so good, I believe is the season that I put in it. So I'll y'all how I do it. Let me get cleaned up. Okay, cool. I'll have to go look at my tags. Hey, Ash, what's up, girl? Um, I just started looking at my tags and my stitches again, y'all. So I haven't seen a lot of y'all's videos that have been stitching and duetting me. So I'm, go I'm going through all those today. So if, I, if you've stitched or duetted me, I'm not trying to ignore you. I've just been, I haven't been on uh, TikTok a lot. 
I mean, I'll be honest with you guys, TikTok's really bad for my mental health. Um, look how soft these are. Like, this is just coming right off. Hell yeah. Okay. I waited so long for these fucking things to get right, y'all, because uh, the lady brought me, like, really hard avocados, and um, it was like, ugh. 20 years sober and remain on maintenance for pain. Good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah, do whatever you got to do. Um, you know, this old uh, mentality that sobriety is abstinence is not true. Sobriety is not drinking alcohol. That's what sobriety is, okay? Um, and so a lot of people can get sober from drugs and alcohol and take medication just fine. If that's not you, you know, so be it. But a lot of us can, and so that's what we're going to do if we need to do it. It's better for us to take care of our health by taking medication uh, than to allow our health to go to shit because we're worried about what people think about our fucking sobriety. You know what I mean? For the longest time, I used to be so worried about, about what people thought about my recovery because so many people judged me in the recovery community for being on Suboxone. You know, and do you know what it feels like to be judged by the very community that you're looking for acceptance from? It sucks. It sucks. And so uh, that's when I finally realized that I don't need acceptance from nobody and that they, them bitches can sit on it and spin. Hey, yay. <laughs> you know, and when I started to feel like I didn't need acceptance from anybody, that's when I was able to become my best self. You know, um, I don't need your validation. I don't need you to tell me I'm sober. I know what the fuck I am. Do you know what the fuck you are? And if you are somebody who feels like you need to tell people whether or not they're sober or not, that says more about you than it says about me, baby. You know, because who the fuck goes around to people's fucking content that they're celebrating their recovery and tells them they're not recovering? A fucking douche. <laughs> Not who. <laughs> a fucking douche. I need a sit, up, sit on it and spin shirt, and I need a uh, snitching on your addiction shirt. I'm going to be making merch, I think, because it'll be so cool. Okay. I've got four avocados. Let's mash them up first. Because they ain't mashed. And then let's grab our seasoning. So, sit on it, spin, motherfucker. Did y'all see the sugar daddy reaching out to me? <laughs> Did y'all see the video I posted? Some guy messaged me and asked me if I could, if he could be my sugar daddy. And so, I sent him my cash out. <laughs> Tommy, go look. You're going to laugh. Everybody go look and then come back. Some guy named Kelvin, sent me a message asking me to be his sugar baby. So I accepted by sending him my uh, cash app. So, baby, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this, Kelvin. Oh, my God, y'all. This is going to be so good. I can already tell it's going to be so freaking good. Let's get it all incorporated. I think I might add one more guacky. Guacky, guacky. Because these guacchis, they are ripe. What I did, yeah, this one's real ripe. I sat them outside on my balcony to get really ripe. I make the guacamole, baby. Homemade guacamole. Um, you like guacamole? Uh, me and my son and my husband, I have turned over a new leaf, and we used to eat out, like, a lot, you guys, a lot. And so, you know, I gained, I lost uh, 40 or 50 pounds, but then I gained back 20 of it, and I'm really fucking mad at myself for doing that. And so, I put my family on a no eating out, um, no more eating out rule. So, because we're not allowed to eat out anymore... I am cooking any, everything from scratch and making everything homemade, okay? Um, it's, it's not healthy. 
Huh? Yeah, it is. Spaghetti? There's nothing wrong with spaghetti, bubby. We just don't eat a lot because of the noodles. Are, but that's not bad for you. It's a good meal with good meat and everything in it. Homemade uh, red sauce. It was good, wasn't it? So I made spaghetti with meat sauce last night. Uh, tonight I'm going to make homemade tacos. Okay. Tacos, refried beans, um, just everything made at home. No more eating out because it just... It's not good for us. So, okay, let me put my seasonings in. So this one is the star of the show, I believe. This is garlic salt, okay? And I'm, I love a good garlic salt moment. Not too much because we don't want it to be overpowered. But when you see this, y'all are going to say, your mouth is going to water because it's fresh. Fresh cottos, baby, fresh cottos. Let's get some pepper now. Fresh cottos. Peppa. Oh yeah, baby. I think I might put one more to potato in, or tomato in it. Potato. Okay. Woo, yes. And I like some chunks to be in there. So we're not smashing the guacs all the way up because we like it chunky. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to try a bite of it. Okay, okay. Where's my... I guess there they are. Tostito scoops for the win. Tostito scoops for the win, baby. Okay. This, we got to taste test it, see if it needs more seasoning. More seasoning. Just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Incorporate that. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This fucking tastes so good. Just, just eating it like it is. It tastes so good. But, ooh, I don't have any lime. That would be good, too. That would make it not turn brown, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. A little bit more pepper. Dude, this tastes better than the damn Mexican restaurant. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Let's taste it again. It's all in there. Yeah, okay, we're done with that. Okay. So that's the way I make my guacamole. I do not like it to have um nasty ass fucking jalapenos in it. Oh yeah, baby, that's good. One more bite. I make it simple and fresh, y'all. Simple and fresh. Ash. This is so good. So fucking good. Okay. Let's chill it a little bit. My husband's going to be happy because I was, I've been making it all week. I've been only making a little batch for me. And so now this batch is big enough for him too. <laughs> Okay. Mm. So good. So freaking good, you guys. Now listen to me, okay? Listen to me. You know, for the longest time, I would just order food, right? Order, order food online from, like, fast food places. And I was always complaining about how um, you know, 
Produce is too expensive. This or that and the third. You guys, do you know it's too expensive? Eating out every day. And so since I have sacrificed eating out every day and I have started to make my own food at home, guess what? I have more money for groceries. So I'm telling you, make the jump. If you haven't made the jump to eating everything at home and making it yourself, you need to do it. Okay. I know it's easy to get caught up in the fast life. Like I, I was caught up in it for years. That's how I got so fat. I got so fat because I was caught up, caught up in the fast, easy life. You know what I mean? And so um, now I'm full longer when I eat my food from home. Okay. It tastes better. Okay. It's fresher. Okay. I know where it's coming from. I know what it has in it. And it's just, it's just better, you guys. I'm telling you. yesterday to the top. We ate them all. Yeah, they're really good. Then let me show y'all what else we got going on. Okay. Blueberries. Strawberries. Okay. Let me show y'all. Flip the camera around. Cantaloupe and watermelon I chopped up. My guacamole. My fresh yogurt. The other half of the damn watermelon back there. We are eating right, baby. We are trying to eat right now. <sighs> like I said, and it feels good. It feels really good. Doesn't it feel better to eat food that's healthy and homemade for you instead of that nasty fast food, Nate? Sure. Yeah. I mean, we like a treat every now and then, you know, like a Burger King treat, but we're really trying to stick to it, huh, buddy? Yeah, can you show them my game? So that way we can get in shape and be our best version of ourselves. Can you show them my game? Because it's like Fortnite, but on Tuesday. Let me show them. Hold on a second. Nate wants y'all to see his game. So it's where you just, it's pretty much Fortnite, but first person. Say hi to everybody, boy. Hi. And okay. Uh huh. And I, ha I have a Browning M19 or 18. Uh huh. And I have a M1 Carbine. And there's a stuff. He's shooting people. <laughs> yeah. no, shooting zombies. I mean, shooting zombies. Okay. I know. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Oh, I got onions on the ground. I was cooking my, making my guacamole. I got onions on the floor. Whee! Okay. So, that's that. Yes, that is my twin, Nathaniel. He doesn't like to be called my twin, but he's my twin. Baby, you look exactly like me. The DeMeo genes are strong. It's because your daddy is a redhead. His gene is recessive. So, of course, my gene had to take over. I'm doing good. What about you, baby? We just made homemade guacamole. We're doing good over here. Okay. I look like shit, though. I need to take a shower. <laughs> look, there's that. Wipe down my stove. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my little guacamole cooking show for the day. Um, I just really am trying to make changes in my life for the better, for the healthier. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, also, if y'all didn't see, Sean came on last night 
and joined me for a live and shared some of his story. He was He's a recovering opioid addict. And so that's over on my YouTube channel, and it will be up on my podcast shortly. My, my girl Mercedes is converting it over to podcast for me. So you can listen to it or you can watch it in real um, the replay because it was a live we did yesterday. But um, I'm going to let my guacamole chill and then I'm going to fucking grub out on it because I think that's what I want to eat for lunch is <laughs> guac. So I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Tonight I will be um, live with my patrons. For those of you guys that don't know, I have a Patreon account. It's two dollars, and we are going to be watching Train Spotting tonight on my Patreon. So that's Patreon Movie Night is the second Friday of every month, and it's just like a group activity that we can all do together and connect and hang out. Um, and and the third Friday of every month is our Patreon relapse prevention class where we jump on a Zoom call and we all talk about things that we're struggling with, triggers, we identify our triggers, we identify um, different coping skills that we can do to help with those triggers. And so that's next Friday on Patreon. Um, so I've been hitting my Patreon hard, y'all. I do something three Fridays a night on my Patreon and it's because my YouTube channel got deleted and I had to make a new one. And so my YouTube channel is not monetized uh, because I can't monetize it because I'm evading a ban. So if you guys um, would like to support me, um, join my Patreon. It's linked in my bio. And like I said, it's only two bucks. Um, but we have over 100 people in my Patreon. So it's pretty fucking badass. And um, like I said, I post in there almost every single day. But we do like activities every fr almost every Friday. So if you're part of Patreon, I just went in there. Ashley, I just linked the Zoom link for those of you guys that are going to be doing the uh, movie night with me tonight. And so the Zoom link is up. All you have to do is click that link at like 10, hop on at 7. We'll get the movie set up and then we'll watch. I'll pro what I'm going to do is we're going to probably watch it in like 45 minute increments and then I'll pause the video. We can take a bathroom break. We can talk about what we saw in the movie and then come back. So train spotting is highly triggering. It's a drug addiction movie. And so for those of you guys that are wanting to come join, we'll have time to, tr to pause and talk about how the movie is making us feel and what we think about it. Okay. All right. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see y'all later, okay? No, no, All right. Bye. No, I'm not, bro, you're like What, Nate?